An open source AI is here and it's already being compared to giants like GPT-4. Meet Aria, a multimodal model developed by Rhymes AI in Tokyo. It's capable of analyzing documents, generating Python code, understanding videos, and even debugging complex code, something we're used to seeing only from proprietary tech. But here's the twist. Aria does all this with 24.9 billion parameters, only using what's necessary to cut down energy demands. In this video, we'll break down Aria's real-world performance, compare it with GPT-4, and explore the good, the bad, and whether this model is truly the next big thing in AI. Stay tuned! What makes Aria different from other AI models? Aria's standout feature is its multimodal architecture, meaning it can process text, code, images, and even videos in one model. Typically, AI models specialize in just one of these areas, but Aria brings them all together under a single framework, making it highly versatile. It achieves this with a mixture of experts, MOE design, which means that not all 24.9 billion parameters are used every time the model processes input. Instead, only 3.5 billion parameters are activated per task, creating a more efficient workflow. This method reduces computational load, allowing ARIA to perform complex tasks without requiring the same energy or hardware as larger models. The result? Better efficiency without compromising on performance. This makes a promising choice for developers who need powerful AI but want to avoid the resource demands of proprietary giants. Additionally, since it's open source under Apache 2.0, developers can customize and improve the model according to their needs, a level of flexibility you won't find with closed systems like OpenAI's GPT models. However, ARIA's design is not without trade-offs. The limited activation of parameters makes it highly efficient for specialized tasks, but might hinder its ability to handle general purpose questions as smoothly as other larger models that activate all parameters simultaneously. ARIA's performance versus GPT-4 and other giants. In benchmark tests, ARIA has already demonstrated that it can outperform popular open source models like Pixtral 12b and Llama 3.2 11b. It's even challenged some of the top proprietary models, including GPT-4.0, Gemini 1 Pro, and Claude 3.5 Sonnet, showing results that place it within striking distance of these giants. One reason for ARIA's strong performance is its ability to scale without losing efficiency. Developers can add new experts to the model to specialize in additional tasks, and ARIA won't get bogged down by this extra complexity. But it's important to note that in scenarios where general knowledge is needed, such as answering random trivia or writing broad essays, ARIA might not perform as well as GPT-4, which activates more parameters across a wider range of topics. This efficiency also makes ARIA a potential game-changer for businesses and independent developers looking for high performance without the high cost of proprietary solutions. But there's still a question of accessibility. Can users truly replace GPT-4 with ARIA? Let's move into real-world tests to find out. ARIA in action. ARIA's potential becomes clearer when you look at how it handles real-world applications. For example, the model was tested on financial report analysis, where it accurately extracted relevant information, calculated profit margins, and provided detailed breakdowns. It's not just limited to numbers, it can also generate Python code on the fly. In one test, ARIA was asked to create a weather data visualization using Python, and it produced not just the code, but also detailed formatting instructions for generating the graph. However, not everything went smoothly. In another test involving price analysis of cryptocurrencies, ARIA stumbled. It was given a screenshot from CoinMarketCap and asked to rank the top 10 tokens based on their 24-hour performance. ARIA incorrectly identified some coin's performance, showing that while the model excels in structured tasks, data interpretation from images still presents challenges. The test also revealed one of ARIA's limitations, the bar and line charts it generated didn't align properly, with mixed timelines on the x-axis. GPT-4 also struggled with the task, but its timeline organization was slightly better, even if both models misinterpreted some of the data. This shows that while ARIA's multimodal abilities are impressive, they aren't flawless, especially when it comes to interpreting non-standard or visual inputs. ARIA's edge in coding and debugging. ARIA demonstrates notable expertise in coding and debugging, showcasing the efficiency of its mixture of experts, MOE, architecture. 
In one test, the model identified a logic flaw in nested loops and proposed a more optimized solution, reflecting a deep understanding of programming concepts. This makes ARIA particularly effective for developers tackling specific, complex coding problems. Another area where ARIA shines is its ability to extract relevant code snippets from video tutorials and reorganize them in practical ways. This feature offers developers a unique advantage, especially those relying on visual learning resources like video walkthroughs and live coding demonstrations. When comparing ARIA with GPT-4, both models have their distinct advantages. ARIA's specialized design allows it to activate only the necessary experts for a given task, leading to faster and more efficient results in focused debugging scenarios. However, GPT-4's broader architecture provides an edge in general-purpose coding tasks, particularly those requiring a wider context or understanding across multiple programming languages. While ARIA excels in targeted, modular tasks, it may not replace GPT-4 entirely. Instead, it could serve as a valuable complementary tool, offering efficiency and precision in troubleshooting, while broader models like GPT-4 remain effective for handling diverse programming needs. Testing ARIA against GPT-4 in text and document analysis. In text analysis, ARIA offers concise and accurate responses, but it presents information in long paragraphs without clear formatting. This approach can make it hard to read and process, especially for users who prefer structured answers. When compared to GPT-4, OpenAI's model organizes content more efficiently, breaking down answers into readable sections and bullet points, which improves user experience. Another area where ARIA falls short is in document handling. In its current demo, ARIA can only process PDFs with a maximum of five pages, which limits its utility for users dealing with longer reports or documents. By contrast, GPT-4 handles documents with hundreds of pages, and Claude 3.5 Sonnet can manage files up to 30 megabytes. This limitation highlights that while ARIA excels in focused tasks, it's not yet a match for broader document analysis needs. On a positive note, ARIA's strength lies in avoiding hallucination, a problem that affects many language models, including GPT-4. In tests where both models were asked to analyze research papers, ARIA provided fact-based summaries without fabricating information, giving it an edge in maintaining accuracy. ARIA's creative capabilities. Creative writing isn't usually the forte of open source models, but ARIA surprised testers with its ability to craft engaging narratives. Given the prompt to write a short story about a time-traveling historian named Jose Lanz, ARIA created a well-rounded plot, complete with a philosophical twist. The story explored the time travel paradox, demonstrating not only creativity, but also an understanding of abstract concepts. Compared to Grok 2 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet, Arya's storytelling ability was more immersive, with a shorter narrative arc. However, the model's performance was limited by token constraints, meaning it couldn't generate longer stories with the same depth as Long Rider, another leading model in creative outputs. This is another reminder that while Arya shows promise in creativity, it still has room for growth in handling large-scale writing tasks. Limitations and Hardware Requirements As exciting as ARIA's potential is, accessibility remains a challenge. The model is large, with 25.3 billion parameters, and requires high-end hardware to run effectively. To perform interference with half-precision, users need an A100 GPU with 80 gigabytes of VRAM or three RTX 4090s working in parallel. This makes it impractical for most personal users to experiment with the model outside of institutional settings. Also, ARIA isn't available in a quantized form yet, meaning there's no more efficient version that could reduce hardware demands. This may limit adoption, as smaller developers or hobbyists might struggle to access the computational power necessary to fully leverage ARIA's capabilities. Despite these limitations, Rhymes AI has made a demo available on Hugging Face, where users can test a restricted version of the model. While the demo shows ARIA's potential, it also reveals the trade-offs. The model shines in specific areas, but isn't quite ready to replace GPT-4 in general-purpose use cases. The future of open source AI with ARIA. ARIA's release marks an important step forward in the open source AI landscape, joining the ranks of Meta's and Mistral's recent models. These developments suggest that open source solutions are increasingly capable of challenging proprietary giants like OpenAI. 
The fact that ARIA combines multimodal capabilities with a mixture of experts' framework shows the potential for scalable, specialized AI that can adapt to evolving needs. That said, it's still early days for ARIA. While the model is efficient and versatile, it lacks the polish and accessibility of proprietary models like GPT-4. As open source communities continue to experiment with and improve ARIA, the dream of a fully open AI capable of rivaling the best in the market may come closer to reality. Ultimately, ARIA offers a glimpse of what's possible when innovation isn't locked behind corporate walls. If Rhyme's AI and the community can overcome the current hardware limitations and expand ARIA's capabilities, this model could play a key role in shaping the future of AI development. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.